Hey loves, welcome back to my channel, Target Nicole here. How are you guys doing? I hope you are doing well. I am here today with another haul. It is just my grocery haul, so be shouldn't be on here too long, guys. My grocery haul and my Dollar Tree haul. Wasn't supposed to have no Dollar Tree haul. I went in there for one thing and came out with like many things. Um, if you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me. You know, another thing I want to say really quick is if you're watching this back and it seems a little blurry, try changing the settings because when I'm watching people's back sometimes, I feel like I have to go to the little three little dots on my cell phone and change it from like 420 to the quality to like a 720 or whatever they offer to make the, vi the video a little bit clearer because when I'm looking at it, it looks clear. So that's just a little side note there. But I did not buy a lot of things at ShopRite at all. Um, I'm trying to think limited and just focus on what I'm making one meal at a time. I spent $29 and some change. I want to say it was like 72 cents. When I find the bill, I'll show it to you. So let's get right into it. I bought a lot of meat, which is probably why it was so much moolah. Well, I don't think that's a lot because I have $45 to spend bi-weekly and I think what I bought will be more than sufficient for that. I'm trying to take them out the Oh you know what I think my receipt is um my receipt is probably in my little bag. But it was definitely good morning to honey what's up girl rent gang 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 it was definitely less than 30 bucks because I only took a $30 out and I got some change back so it was 27 29 something morning deandra what is up good morning good morning good morning i don't even know if it's morning or afternoon anymore all right so i got a lot of meat because this is on sale i found this i've never bought this brand but it better be good because i bought three of them it is um this clayton's organic ground beef humanly raised exclusively for shop right um clayton's organic ground beef and they had three of these for like four dollars you got you bought three and it cost you less than five dollars i think so and that's cheap for organic ground beef so i bought three of them and gra organic ground grass-fed ground beef grass beef great beef is like a staple in my my kitchen nowadays i like it it goes in tacos it goes in pastas it goes in what else lettuce wraps things like that so then i really had went up in there for chicken but that beef can go in the freezer and last a very long time. So um, I was like, I'm not going to pass that up. The chicken I picked up was the whole pantry organic chicken legs. Yes, I probably could have got them a little cheaper because this organic one is a little bit more. But they're free range, no hormones, all the jazz. Um, and they were $3.20. They did have some non-organic ones for like $2 some change. But I had the dollar to spare. It wasn't going to kill me. Now, if they were like $6, then I'd have been like, no, ma'am. Um, then the last meat that I picked up was this pack of Purdue chicken leg quarters, which is, I'm a dark meat fan. I love my dark meat. So that's thighs and legs for $4.39. It's a big, big pack there. Good morning, Pine and Ginger. What's up, girl? So I plan on making some jerk chicken, some jerk barbecue chicken today. So that's why I got the leg quarters, and that's why I'm showing y'all now, so I can go season them up and let them sit for a couple hours. You're going to put the slits in the chicken, you marinate. All right, I'm done. So I've never used this before, but I saw it, and I was like, it was only a dollar something. I figured I would try it, even though now looking at what's in it, I could have probably just bought it and did it myself. But this is Tom Nom, Tamon, Tamon Jerk Seasoning. Why? You don't eat jerk chicken anymore? Well, you don't eat chicken. Sorry. You can make jerk fish. <laughs> um, Tamon jerk seasoning. It says there's only salt, garlic, onion, onion, sorry, salt, garlic, onion, coriander, and there are other spices. So I'm going to put this on as well. And then I bought, of course, my favorite kind, Walker's Wood jerk seasoning. I bought the mild only because I'm sure my boyfriend will want to eat some. Personally, I would get the hot and spicy for myself, but I'm trying to be conscientious of other people so I usually use like a spoon of chicken per pound a spoon of this per pound of chicken and that's that and then I'll put up some onions and scallions and stuff it in all right this is not a lesson 
I love jerk shrimp, but no seafood during this deep. Oh, okay. Well, you'll be able to eat it when you're done detoxing, girl. I thought you meant like you didn't eat it at all anymore. Oh, yeah. Jerk. You don't like salmon. So jerk shrimp. Okay, okay, okay. Jerk chicken is bomb. And so then I picked up two bags of this old-fashioned coleslaw. Just cabbage and green, green carrots. Green carrots. Green cabbage and extra carrots. And that's it. That's all I picked up because um, I like that egg roll in a bowl thing. But instead of putting like the extra, usually you put like a ground beef or you put like um, ground pork in it for egg roll in a bowl or shrimp or something like that. But I think I'm just going to make it as a side to go with the chicken. And I might even make some rice and peas that only have like a half a cup or a cup of that. Um, so that's all I got from ShopRite. I'm going to take those off the thing, and I'm going to show you jerk chicken egg roll in a bowl does sound amazing. I don't know how those two flavors are going to work together, but probably good. Probably good. That sounds amazing. They don't have to. Hmm. We'll see how it tastes together on the thing, but that's the plans. <laughs> okay. That's the plans. All right. So let me clear off those table, and I will flip you guys over for the next one because I don't think you're going to be able to see the dollar store stuff. As well, if I hold them up, I went into the dollar store. Well, I'll show you this. I went into the dollar store for this, right? Ooh, she wrapped it up and I took it out. I went to the dollar store for this and something else and came out the dollar store with so much stuff. I went to the dollar store for this. Just a little pasta tray situation because my oven is small and a lot of the longer ones don't fit in it and that's what I had. So this small one should fit in it perfectly. And I was, of course, going to put the jerk chicken in it because if you cook jerk chicken down like I cook it over an hour or so, it will mess up your pan and I don't want to clean no pan. So the lasagna tray is now my jerk chicken tray. So I'm going to flip you guys upside down and show you guys what I picked up at the dollar store. I picked up stickers, which is not what I went for. I literally went for that pan and to look for something to put my little money for my goals in. But I, because I like my little envelope that I made, but I think it'd be cuter in a jar. So I went to look for a jar and some exercise stickers. Didn't find that. I did find the jar, however. So I'm going to flip you guys over, let you guys see it, and then I'm not going to be on here long because I still need to shower. I just came from the gym and sh and getting groceries and all that. Hold on. That's not the right one. <laughs> not the right button, Dara. <laughs> no? You don't want it? You don't want to be great? Okay. All right. So I when I took the pan out, it came out. So this is what I ended up picking up. Just a little dollar store. And I feel I feel like I could have went to Marshall's or Michael's or something. I got this for 50 cents for some reason. But it's okay. Um, this was the dollar store little mason jars. They had other jars, but I like to know that after I finish saving my money, I can wash it and use it as an actual sealable, sealable jar for like whatever, rice, pasta, whatever. So there's that. Um, then I picked up all this extra stuff that was not a part of the plan. <laughs> so don't judge me. I saw this and I picked up two of them. And they're supposed to be expandable file folders, right? Um, yeah, I think they're adorable. And then I was like, sis, you could use this as sticker storage I was like there's always like the little stickers like right now I have my Peyton stickers and my other stickers and I'm like they don't really like they're not in a book themselves so I was like I could put my little stickers in there and like the small ones that I have can go in and then they just lock them up and they can come with me and I know that they're not gonna get destroyed and it was a doula so I was like it's worth a try for a dollar for the little stickers that I want to like take on my own, like if I pick these up, these kind of stickable stickers, you know, and I could take them out of the package if I want to because they're being protected in here. Oh, she's right. She said I could carry, I can probably fit a whole Benichi kit in there, which is probably that. You know, that's probably true as well. Let's see. I just have my thing. So let me see. Let me see. Let me see. 
upside down. Let me see. <laughs> Let me see. Hey, hey. So a whole half sheet fits in here fine from like a happy planner. So if a half sheet fits, then a definite Hobonichi could fit. So all the little supplies for all this, all my extra half sheets, all my extra stuff like that could totally go in one of these. I thought they were adorable. I was mad I could only find these two in one that looked like it was broke up. So I didn't want that one. Um, but yeah, check out your local Dollar Tree. If you're interested, maybe you can find them. And I love the colors on them. So I picked those two up for my sticker storage. Did I leave something in there? Oh, okay. That's not the one I was in. Because I'll be looking later like, where is it? <laughs> so, yeah. So I'll probably put, like, my um, cookie stickers and my, what's the other girl? Gold Mine and Coco. And I would like to also order myself some Oso Paper Co. Those were the top three that I really wanted to try. Then I got two bubble wrap mailers. I'm actually going to close my Etsy shop for right now because I'm not putting in enough focus. And when people order stuff, I feel like I don't have the supplies ready. But I wanted to get some back up just in case before. I need to close it today. Then lately, if I've been going somewhere, I don't know where all my little holders for wine are. I can't ever find them because I'm Caribbean and I don't go to anybody's house empty handed. So if I'm invited to an event or a house or something like that, I bring a bottle with me. Um, and I think this was so pretty. Look at the colors, guys. It's like a rose gold, a pink, a marble, this light blue, this pink, and another seriously rose gold. I thought this was super pretty. I was like, yeah, this is so me. This is so me. So this is a beautiful wine bottle thing. Um, yeah, and then that works. A dollar tree. Then I have it, so I don't have to think about it. So then... I've been thinking I want to do some, some like, what are those things called? Planning on a budget. Hi, barely then broke. What's up, Mo? Mm -hmm. So I'm planning on a budget videos because I want to get back into my happy Nietzsche. <laughs> Good morning, Pine and Ginger. I just saw you on the group. I can't with you right now. Um, and I thought these would be cute because I always like these long stickers and they already have to do to do and this week and these do pull a little bit more summery spring but I personally don't care um and I like the little flower details to use as accent decorations and I love this like you know how in our happy niches we usually use squares or something these could be nice little um areas to write what you're doing but I really like these as areas to write what you're doing <laughs> um, and I don't know how much I would really use these but then I was like oh there's more boxes to use and like my happy Nietzsche Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday I think this will be really cute to try and use and they either have like some washi so I want to see what I can do with these as far as like October or whenever so I like that and you know 61 stickers so then I also picked up this I'm actually not a big fan of stickers that like if you can tell like come off the page but I really like these ones. Um, it said smile. It was a feather. I love the camera. I'm like obsessed with camera art. Girl, the best. A cute little thing. Um, these sneakers are cute. Who doesn't like some chucks? These bicycle is cute. Another feather. What is that? Does anybody know what that is? I like this my life and this is me. Like the cute little purse. Oh, these are headphones. Duh, girl. <laughs> these headphones. So those are really, really cute. Um, if anybody is interested in this, I can send it to you. I bought two. One for a giveaway. And if you're already up here, then you have first dibs. So this is the second one. This is the second one to give away. I don't need two of them, clearly. Then I saw these and I couldn't leave them. I was like, the holidays will be here before you know it. And these are foiled. Um, they're a little sketchy. I'm done with you. <laughs> I'm done with you. Um, but these are really cute. They're just bulbs. And I think that would be really pretty for a, um, what's that called? Like a Christmas spread. And so there was another one that I had to pick up as well. And these were all balls. And they actually say stuff like this one says good vibes, 
This one says wild. This one has a unicorn on it. Um, para I don't know. Paradise. Girl, what was I trying to say? Take time. A little flamingo. They're really cute. I was like, they're a little bulkier as well, if you can see. But I think they'll work. Dollar store stitchers, um, stickers are a little weird because sometimes they'll stick and sometimes they won't. Or they'll stick for a little bit and then they'll come back up. But I thought these are really cute. For a dollar, it was worth a try. And if no one wants those stickers, girl, they can stay with me. We'll make it work. And this I actually got for this because I couldn't find any exercise stickers. I might throw some of my paintings or some of my squatting girls and water girls on there. But I thought this was really cute. Maybe I'll stick some of these on here and see how they go. If not, I'm sure I can use these mason jars elsewhere. These are really cute. Um, enjoy, good vibes. That's what most of them say. Enjoy and good vibes. Enjoy life good vibes i thought these were really nice as well so all the pretty all the foil ones are cute and these are i'm going to try to put these on that jar and last but not least i picked up some wall decor which i am not a big fan of well i haven't found let's not say that i haven't found any wall decor that i really really like lately but i do like this it says girl boss and I looked at it when it was like this, and I was like, no, I'm never going to I'm never gonna put that on my wall. You late, girl. We're on the last two things, sis. You got to watch it on the replay. But this one won't be so long, so you could watch it on the replay. Um, the girl boss sticker is cute. So when I saw it, I was like, oh, this is cute. I like the wording, but I don't like the way it goes across. But I didn't realize, but look at how they put it on the sticker. This is what sold me. That's how you could put it up on the wall. Girl boss, and then, you know... That's cute, right? I like it. <laughs> and then the last thing I picked up was another wall decal. I ain't going there for no wall decals. Why I got all this stuff? I don't know. But I like what it had to say. I really enjoyed the saying. It says, stay humble, work hard, be kind. Like, this is too big. It's too big because y'all can't see it. Stay humble, work hard, be kind. I thought I was so cute. And then I was like, why they got it on this paper like this? But then I looked at the little picture and that's how it's on the wall, which I really like because they have like the two different types of writing. Yeah, I don't know where it's going, but I really like it. It might replace the picture behind me. So that is all I got y'all. So that's what I picked up at the Dollar Tree. That's what I picked up for food this week. Um, they do have cute wall detail. That's cute. Hey, girls. Yeah, I did really like it. I thought, wow, those are nice. They're basic colors, black and white. I don't like all the ones. Like, they always seem to have ones with a whole bunch of colors and butterflies and things like that. I felt like those two were more my speed. Like, they're more like this. Just basic, plain, say what I wanted to say. Like, I could see that on the wall. Like, I could see that happening. Or better yet, this one because it takes up. The same amount of space if you if you layer them like it is in the pictures so i'm excited lord knows i don't know where they're going yet but i might put it up i might not <laughs> all right guys but that's all i have for you guys today i'm not trying to be on here and make this video long so that when the people want to watch the replay they're not like lord jesus that girl be on here all day um hope you guys are meal prepped and ready um for pine and ginger she's doing a detox so good luck to you girl um hi good luck to you girl you're doing good i think um yeah and that's it guys i'm gonna go season up my jerk chicken so i can sit for a couple of hours and then i can cook it later and that egg roll in a bowl don't take but 30 seconds. <laughs> no, not that fast, but real quick. So I'm very happy about having a plan for food this week. Excited. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, order to be great. I need to do that today. Thanks, even though I'm ready to quit. No! How many more days do you have? Ma'am. Yeah, meal prep, meal prep, meal prep. Let's get on that meal prep, prep train. I think I did pretty well this weekend. So I'm excited to get on the on the scale tomorrow. It better say at least one pound, y'all, because I felt like I did okay. Um, do not quit, Pine and Ginger. I will come find you, okay? 
Don't do it. <laughs> day seven. Of Girl, you ain't got but three days left. You got this. You got this. So got this. You got this. You got this. You got this. Did I already say that? All right. I'm trying not to make this video go over 20 minutes. So, um, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, if you did like the video and what you saw, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Um, and if you like the content, hit the thumbs up button. I appreciate all of you for always viewing. Have a wonderful, blessed day, you guys. And maybe one day we'll do a question and answer thing. I'll put something on my Instagram or you guys can come ready with questions and I'll do a question and answer video so that we can chat it up with any questions you have. Although I feel like I'm totally open. So you guys are now the answer. Oh, um, I'm trying to go, but they keep talking like that. <laughs> But my interest is she's in a full body herbal detox. Donnie, you need to go follow Pine and Ginger over on her channel, right? And then write all these questions over there so she can give you the low down tea on this on this situation she up to. Cause I just saw the pills and I saw the salads. I don't know all the all the situation on her detox, you know. Alright, guys. Have a wonderful blessed day, guys. Good. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Love you, Tony.